Hi, I'm Rodol Grory, and tonight we're getting crafty. A lot of people like to grab their smoothies and go, but carrying around that mason jar can be a bit tricky. So we're going to make a smoothie jar bag. To start off, we'll need some fabric. Here we're using an old t-shirt that's actually too big for me since I've gone raw. You want to cut out a rectangular piece of cloth, 7.5 inches wide by 13 inches long, with an attached circular piece of fabric that's about 4.5 inches in diameter. We want to put a carrying strap on our bag, so fold the top half inch of the rectangle down and pin it in place, and sew along the lower portion of the fold. Next, fold the piece in half, like so, and sew along the edge of the fold. Now take your mason jar and set it top down on your work surface, and slide your piece over it with the circular flap on top. Fold over the bottom of the jar, and pin it in place. So in a circular pattern below your pins, taking them out as you go, turn it inside out, and you got your smoothie bag. Now to keep your beverage cold and add a bit of breakage protection, take one of those frozen food bags you find in the freezer aisle of your grocery store for about two bucks and trace and cut out the same patterns as for the fabric but make it 7 inches by 13 inches with a 4.5 inch circle so that it will hide below your finished bag. To put it together and waterproof the seams, we're going to be using duct tape. Wrap the material around your jar and mark it. You want to make sure it's a loose fit so putting your jar in and taking it out won't be a hassle. Now that you have your little insulating insert, place it in your smoothie bag. Now we want to put a strap on it so we can carry it like a messenger bag. We're using a thick gauge hemp twine to make it easier to guide through our top seam. Take a safety pin and pierce it through the end of the twine and close it. Place it head first into the opening and work it through, you get the idea. When you get the desired length, tie it off and presto! And now smoothie jaw you are screwed. Just kidding. Um, to make our smoothie jar so you can use a straw with it without taking the lid off, we're going to need to make a hole. Now I just stacked up some cardboard here to protect our kitchen table. We're going to take one of these jar lid inserts and there we go. And now to clean up our edges so there's no sharp bits. And now we just take this, pop it on here, take another one of our jar lid inserts, which you can pick up at any kind of store for just a couple bucks, you get a whole pack of them. We're going to place that on top, take our lid right here, screw that on, and now you're good to go to travel, bam, no leakage. And when you're ready to drink your smoothie, you just pop that off. Take your cover lid off, and you can just tuck that in there out of the way. Pop your ceiling ring back on. Insert your straw, and you're good to go.